So hey guys and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're on the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE. And we're taking this out for its first ride. I've not ridden this bike before. Okay, so first ride on the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE. And initially, when I got on this bike, it is quite tall. And we'll go through the specs shortly. I'm six foot two and I'm on tiptoes just on this bike now. So they do two versions, they do the XC and the XE and we'll go and talk about what's different between them. Basically if you're a uh, shorter rider then I would recommend the XC which has 200 millimeters of travel on the suspension whereas the more off-road focused XE which I'm on today has 250 millimeters of travel on the suspension so a little bit taller. The engine in this bike is the High Torque 1200cc engine and it's an absolute beauty. So we've got a colour TFT dash that you've seen before on the Triumph Rocket, fully configurable. The XE does come with a 6 axis IMU so it has lean sensitive traction control. And of course you've got ABS. Now here's the dilemma I'm in is when I'm looking for off-road or green lanes in Lancashire. I only know of one near me within about 10 miles. It's literally a couple of miles long. I can't really get off-road on this thing anywhere. And even when I look on the green lanes in a 50 mile radius, I don't see any really that I could take this bike off-road. So when buying a Scrambler, whether it's the Triumph Scrambler or something like the Ducati Scrambler, where do you actually take these things? The suspension on this bike is uh, absolutely superb, really nice ride and that's probably something to do with the 21 inch front wheel. See I'm not actually feeling any of the bumps like I would on a 17 inch front wheel. So the brakes on the bike are really good, I'll look through those in the spec shortly. Road's a little damp today. So it's good to uh, test the tyres out on this thing, see how it handles on the uh, the wet roads, should be okay. It's got some good tyres on and we'll have a look through those shortly. Uh, it's a keyless ignition again. Now I'm not a lover of keyless ignitions. This is the third bike I've had with a keyless ignition. Actually fourth bike I've had because the Harley has a keyless ignition as well that we've currently got. Providing they uh, they work and the uh, the battery doesn't keep going all that often. I have no real gripes with them. I would prefer a, a keyed ignition really. Don't see much point in a keyless ignition but at least the fuel cap on here is a key. So let's uh, pop in here and have a look through the specs. Must have been raining heavy here. Roads are really wet. So we're just down at Pine Lake down in Carnforth. My usual spot to look through the uh, specs of the bike just next to the water here by all these log cabins. Really nice. A few swans in the water just there. Now there's a water sports centre at the end. That's where I normally do the, uh, the walk arounds. Good place to come with your kids actually. Rent one of these cabins out, do some water sports. A few people out canoeing. Rather cool today gonna have a look see what temperature it is it feels like about six degrees it's uh, it's very cold today okay so the scrambler 1200 xe uh, this bike's priced at 12,850 and I think the XC version is priced at uh, 12000 Quite similar to the Ducati Scrambler pricing. I think that just comes in at just under 12000 um, But this bike on the XE, as I mentioned, has got the extra travel on the forks just at the front. And these forks are the Showa 45mm, fully adjustable. And like I say, with 250mm of travel. On the rear, you have got... Twin shocks, these are Olins, fully adjustable, and again 250 millimeters of travel. Colors of the bike, this is the cobalt blue and black, 
and you can see we've got a, uh, a Monza style fuel cap with a keyed fuel cap underneath. That's quite a nice touch and also you've got this strap right down the centre. So I quite like it in cobalt blue. They do a khaki green colour and also a sapphire black colour. So the engine on this bike is uh, the 1200cc high torque and this has 89 bhp and that comes in at 7000 250 rpm torque on the bike 110 newton meters and that's at 4500 rpm as you can see the exhaust is a high level exhaust it's got plenty of heat shielding just on the side there so it doesn't burn your leg wheels are spoked as you can see there on the outside so they've got tubeless tires turrets tires front and rear you've got a chain drive on the right side and the front is a 21 inch front wheel and then on the rear you've got 17 inch wheel so your seat height on this bike is 840 millimeters and then the brakes on this bike you've got brembo m50 calipers and also you've got braided stainless steel lines 320 mil discs on the front on the rear you've got a twin pot brembo and that's on a 220 mil disc foot pegs on this bike you've got rubber inserts you can take out and also the uh, the brake lever plenty of grip on there so good for off-roading which is where this bike is aimed at on road and off-road so headlights on the bike are full led and this has the led indicators front and the tail light and the indicators on the rear these are also led so the weight of this bike is 205 kilograms so the tank on this bike is 16 litres, and that gives you 61 miles per gallon. Handlebars, 840 millimetres in width, slightly wider than the XC version. So the differences I see on this bike, it's got the 6-axis IMU, also the wider handlebars, and then the suspension, 200mm of travel front and rear on the XC, but on this one it's 250mm. So this one comes with handguards, not sure if these are optional extra but they also come with MCS levers, brake and clutch, fully adjustable. So on the back of the bike you've also got a grab rail, which is uh, quite handy, not just for passengers, but for when manoeuvring this bike around in the driveway or the garage. Now the switch gear is very tactile, as with all the Triumphs. You've got the indicators left and right, horn, running lights, menu button, and then this little joystick here, to go through the different modes on the dash. On this side, just your hazards, your home button, and then your start and stop button. As I say, it's keyless ignition. So on the dash, you can scroll through different settings, and also you can change the uh, the dash setup, just like that, or you can go back to the other version. So plenty of information on the dash. Also got a full fuel gauge, which is handy, and also it tells you how many miles before you run out of fuel, which is a good thing. Rider modes. You've got road, sport, off-road, off-road pro, which turns all of the traction control off, ABS and everything. And then rider, configurable, and rain. Like I said, MCS, levers, Brembo, master cylinder and reservoir, and fully adjustable clutch lever on this side. So I also see on the buttons just here, you've got a cruise control. You've also got radiator, radiator guard, and then you've got the skid pan underneath coming as standard so let's get back on the bike and take it for a test ride and tell you what we think on our first ride of this bike beautiful sound coming through the pipes absolute lovely engine low speed throttle position really nice good in traffic very maneuverable i mentioned the the bars being a little bit wider than the xc but still thin enough really to uh, filter through traffic with no issues whatsoever. You can certainly feel the winter coming on, all the trees turning brown, which is lovely. Lovely time of year. As long as we get a few dry days where we can get out on bikes, then I'm happy. <laughs> so let's see what the, uh, the turning circle's like on this bike, low speed. It should be good. Yep. Did a little better than the Harley yesterday. That was a bit wider, but yeah, maneuverability on the bike, really good. Ooh. 
roads are a bit greasy today, just taking it easy, just to make sure everything's good. Now it's a naked bike, so you've got plenty of wind blasts coming while you're travelling along the road. Now because the bike's so high, I think if you were filtering and commuting through a big town, it has an advantage that you can see over all of the vehicles, full scope of the road in front of you. Uh, the seat is, uh, like I say, 840 millimetres, so quite tall and it's uh, it's quite firm to be honest uh, i was expecting it to be as it's uh, part of the uh, the triumph range a little bit soft like a bonneville seat but it is on the firmer side which i actually prefer mirrors on the bike standard uh, bonneville mirrors circular good visibility behind and also i don't notice any uh, any vibration or distortion through them clutch is super light, it's got a slip and assist clutch and on all of the Bonneville engines that are in the, uh, the Bonneville range and the Scrambler and Thruxton are uh, just superb. So we're getting a bit of spray off the vehicles in front so I do apologise for the, uh, the blurry vision. Now you can also get a Steve McQueen edition of this bike which is slightly more higher priced, just a different paint scheme but also, if you've watched the new James Bond film, No Time to Die, you will see that uh, they use the Triumph Scrambler XEs in that film. Haven't seen it yet, but plan to go and see it. People tell me varied reports. It's a very long film, and uh, some people say it's not as good as the, uh, the other Bond films. But let's go and see it and uh, check it out. Now, I've ridden all the Bonneville range, from the Street Twin all the way up to the T100, T120 even the Thruxton. Just from this short ride out today, the first ride on this bike, I can uh, happily say that this so far is the one that I would pick out of all of them and that's just for the uh, the ride and the usability, the versatility of this bike on and off road. I mean we're driving along in the wet rain today, I'm not going fast obviously, I've even not got it in rain mode, but just the uh, the technology that this bike has could it be a daily bike yes absolutely could do everything so it could be the only bike i have in the garage now i've yet to ride the speed twin the new speed twin hopefully that will arrive next month i like that they've got the uh, strap in the middle of the tank like they do on the thruxton and also the monza fuel cap which you also get on the uh, thruxton and also the speed twin Liking that it's got cruise control, that was quite a surprise for me. I didn't think I'd uh, have it on the bike. And there you go, cruise control on. Flying along at 43 miles an hour in six. And it's perfect. Yeah, so just a single button operation. And knock it off with the, uh, the front brake. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So it's got everything. Um, I think if you were into serious off-roading, then uh, between this and something like a, an Africa Twin or you know those type of bikes, I think this really fits well. I've seen some videos online where they compare this against an Africa Twin, and this comes out on top. And uh, for the money, I think it's uh, it's great. Just with that uh, rider mode, where you can switch off the traction control and the ABS to go uh, full mode off-road would be uh, a very good thing and it's just so easy to ride okay we're just about to head on to some dual carriageway so i'm just going to switch off and come back when we have finished. but uh, yeah on the dual carriageway it's a naked bike you're going to get blasted by wind now i can happily say coming along the dual carriageway just now that there's no buzzing or vibrations through the foot pegs or the bars or even the seat it's uh, it's really really good nothing at all you could happily tour on this bike many many miles so yeah i'm quite taken with it uh, so far it's my favorite out of the uh, the triumph range so what we'll have to do is just wait for my uh, my last ride video after i've ridden this bike for a week just to give you my final thoughts and that'll be coming up in about a week's time so it does have self-cancelling indicators so you've also got an auxiliary light switch just on the handlebars just now so that's an optional extra Put some uh, auxiliary lights on the front just there, but well, at least they give you a switch for it as well. I've got the uh, same gear as I had on when I was riding the Harley, except for the uh, the gloves. These are the uh, Merlin Finlay summer gloves, all brown leather. 
and also they've got the palm protection on as you can see just there in case you fall off that's the first thing that touches the ground is your palm and you don't want that to stick otherwise you break bones you want it to slide so uh, other than Knox, I've not seen anyone else put that on gloves so I'm quite uh, quite happy and taken with Merlin motorbike gear you can also find a link in the description below for that gear I'm fond of it so yeah what else is there to say really a lot of bike for the money you've got an absolutely perfect engine 1200 cc thumping away it's really smooth you've got uh, really good brakes some of the best on the market suspension I have to say it trumps even my MT-10 with the Olin's electronic suspension the ride is so plush on this bike to say it's a uh, a big suspension off-roader with that 21 inch front wheel you don't really feel any of the bumps just rides over them uh, but you do get a lot of feedback from the road which is good uh, it comes with braided stainless steel brake lines which many bikes don't and uh, tubeless tires which is always a plus for a uh, an off-road bike good kit good hand guards nice for winter to keep the cold off your hands and also protection um, but yeah it's uh, it's a good one so uh, what we're going to do guys we're going to head out for a week's riding on this thing get as much miles in as we can to give you a full road review and uh, final thoughts dislikes and likes with this bike but uh, it's fair to say that I'm quite taken with it to start with um, so it's definitely worth if you're thinking of uh, one of the scramblers out there go and test one of the Triumph bikes and uh, remember that the XC is the uh, the lower version and the XE is the taller version so thanks again for watching and uh, we'll catch you on another video soon if you're not a subscriber to the channel then uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that like button and uh, it all helps the channel so fully appreciate that guys and i'll catch you on another video soon so uh, until then take care and uh, see you later